the, the mayor may get some questions about, uh, I was noticing as I came in, I looked down the road from his side, and there's some kind of work going on on US 84 right down there at Knights Creek. I know oh, yeah. about that, Mayor. I sure do. And that is a massive bypass for an ugly spill. It was a 20-inch sewer main that crushed. I mean, just mm -hmm. flat collapsed. And then we actually had problems getting on the property. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I'll explain that someday. I'm not sure I want to go into attack mode quite yet. But when somebody charges you ten thousand dollars to get on property just to That is interesting. John, I'll, I'll explain that to you later on. That that was one of those things we could have pushed, but it would have taken extra time and time was gallons. Was well, no spill. So. Yeah, I'll leave that to a later show, but I will mention you said a single spill. Actually, yesterday at 5.11 p.m., we got a notice of the third spill caused by the same location. It's mostly coming out up at East Park Avenue, Correct. Lakeland Highway. But twice after the first incident, there's been another spill, then another spill. Apparently, Valdosta still has issues with either instructing or overseeing its contractors. So we get crushed water lines, we get crushed sewer lines, we get them dug up. Believe it or not, not sewer but water, we get a water main break every single day. Every day mm. in the city of Valdosta. Mm. Every day. That's the price of progress, I guess. And I how guess many how many think, miles of sewer lines and water lines? Three, four hundred miles throughout the city. That's that's tough. I mean it's a and Big, still continuing uh, to rehab the manholes that have been deteriorating for years. So we're doing about 35 of those a year as well. Mm -hmm. We learned how to do them, John. We mm -hmm. watched the contractor. Mm -hmm. We worked with the contractor. Our guys became skilled enough to take that back in-house so we could accelerate that and lessen the price as mm -hmm. well. And, and that's all very good. And everybody knows you got a tough road to hoe, hundreds of miles of sewer line. And there were many years before you were mayor, even before the previous mayor, when this problem got bad and wasn't dealt with. However, this is the fifth sewer spill from Valdosta in the month of February, and, and, and this one is a good example of it happened last Wednesday. It wasn't told to the public for five days. Three were related. Yeah, the last three. Yeah, the last three were absolutely related. As, as it falls apart, it puts the pressure on the rest. Mm -hmm. And that first one you're talking about, um, so much pressure that it didn't... The, the lift station was performing well, but so much pressure that it was pushing a manhole, pushing mm -hmm. up through a manhole that was at that lift station, near mm -hmm. that lift station as well. Yeah, no, it's $140 million invested in this thing, and it, they're never going to be perfect. And again, through digging, through deterioration, we're, we're playing a lot of catch up. Well, I applaud the city spot. for what it's doing and for all the money spent on it, taxpayer money, your, your splos dollars every time you shop in Valdosta, some of that penny is going towards this. Uh, however, right now, it ain't looking good. You, just before you get to the Welcome to Valdosta it, sign, there's that spill. That the, we're the massive bypass sitting there, and that'll, that'll be in place until, again, you don't keep 20-inch main line laying around. So until that comes in, that bypass will be doing its best to keep up and, and, and near an industrial area as well. That's never, that's never a good 